It's the three on Plex TV. Oh, Plex TV. Yeah, don't go for that. Don't go for that. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Plax, and I'm back with another episode of the three on Plax TV. And in this episode, I <laughs> I'm talking about something that's a little funny that's related to basketball. Now, or at least I think it's funny a little bit. Now, it seems like within the last few years, every off season we get like pictures or videos or a mix of both from players that in the previous season either didn't play or didn't play well or had some, you know, off the court issues or something along those lines. Some of the most prominent players that we've gotten this off season content from are players like Zion Williamson <laughs> and Ben Simmons. Uh different issues between the two of them. Uh, ben Simmons is more of a star, somebody that was supposed to be a star who's like plummeted and I guess is trying to keep himself on team. So he, you know, shows how hard he's working, how hard he's working in the off season. And Zion on the other end is just a, a, a true superstar who can't really stay healthy when he's on the court he's dominant but he just can't really stay healthy and then the emergence of a lot of his off the court issues um has made his inability to stay healthy seem more prominent because now it's like well you have time to do this but you don't have time to rehab properly but (laughs) that's that's a i'll get into that stuff so uh ben did the rounds he had some video of him knocking down threes even though he doesn't even shoot them in the games he barely he barely even shoots at all anymore in games uh and i mean like layups dunk like he doesn't even take shots a lot anymore um along with pictures of him jacked he looks great he does look great i can't argue with that he looks like he's in the best shape of his life and then zion dropped a video now i think this is fake i could have got deep faked It was a video of him jumping from, like, damn near the three-point line and dunking. That could have been fake because that's just insanity. But what I do know is real is some of the pictures that came out of him just looking healthy, in shape, jacked. You know, Zion has always been a big dude, but it just seems like in the offseason, he gets a dieseler and stronger and slimmer. Um, But then when the season comes around, something changes. I I don't know. (laughs) I don't know what it is, but something changes. And I just want to tell you guys to not be fooled by this, okay? Don't be fooled by these pictures. Don't be fooled by these videos. Especially in the case of Ben Simmons, these guys don't give a fuck. <laughs> they, just, they just don't. That's that's my personal opinion. Now, with Zion, you can't do nothing about injuries. But it's just like we're... we're is your mindset at right because you're supposed to be rehabbing and you're worried about holes and food <laughs> not saying he's not rehabbing but i feel like spending the amount of time that he spent on holes and food in comparison to putting majority of his focus into rehabbing is crazy you know what i'm saying like and and don't get me wrong right when Zion is on the court, like I don't have his, I don't have his exact stats, but I I have a vague memory of his stats. When he's on the court, the man is averaging like twenty six, close to twenty seven points per game, like twelve rebounds, four or five assists, like a couple blocks, a couple still. Like he's dominant. He shoots like seventy percent from the field and like forty percent from three. He is dominant and he's scary when he's on the court and on that Pelicans team. He could take them from being a playing team to at least a four or five seed with a chance to win. You know what I'm saying? Because you you can't stop him. Like, he's strong as fuck. He's he's stocky. He's big. He's faster than he should be. Like, it's nothing. He's a modern-day, more athletic Charles Barkley. And that's just... He's Charles Barkley with Sean Kemp's leaping ability. That's insanity, right? But the problem with Zion is he can't stay on the court. And I feel like he's not taking his rehab and his off seasons or his seasons seriously. 
Because, yes, we get these pictures of him looking slim and in, and in great shape. But when the seasons come, when the season starts, he's back to eating uh, <laughs> gumbo <laughs> and pizza and burgers and shit. So it's like, you know, even if you are putting in the work in the off season, it's, it's null and void. Because when the season starts, you're back to your bad habits. And then, the, again, the news of his seems to be addiction to holes. Don't get me wrong. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> you got money that's that's what happens i'm not judging you or not like that but when it's taken away from your game that's when it becomes a problem right when it comes to ben simmons right and i'll talk more about zion but when it comes to ben simmons as a nets fan i would love for this to be legit right i would love for all of his off-season work to turn into him being Ben Simmons of old, like when he first got to Philly those first few years in Philly, he was dominant, like kind of like Zion, just in a slightly different way. Like nobody could stop him when he went to the rim. And I think he's forgotten that. Like, yes, can he shoot? No. Can he shoot free throws? No. But in my opinion, that doesn't matter right now because nobody can stop. Even if they file you, there's you're going to probably make one free throw, right? And let's say you get an and one, you score. That's, that's, like, that's all that matters, right? And at the very least, you're putting the opponent in foul trouble, whether it be their guard or their big. You're putting somebody in foul trouble because they have to foul you. And I just think, and, and, and it's a mental thing. It's a mental thing. That's all this has been since Philly. It's he has a mental block, and and that's that's tough to get over. I, I've been hard on Ben Simmons in the past, and, I, you know, I feel like I'm justified in that, but I'm not going to, like, keep beating a dead horse. It is a mental block that he has. It's obvious and apparent, but, like, he's probably not going to see his video, but, bro, you're seven feet tall. You 260. You've you've done it. Like, they can't stop you when you go to the rim. And if you're worried about missing free throws, you got to take the Shaq mentality, bro. Shaq missed free throws all the fucking time. You think he gave a fuck? No. These motherfuckers can't check me. I can miss all my free throws. I'm still going to get 30 because they can't stop me. And and if they keep following me, their whole team is going to follow the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? But as as a Nets fan, though, I would like for him to be Ben Simmons of old. And I, and I don't even mean, like, nothing crazy. This is going to sound crazy. I would like for him to average a triple-double, but not a uh, exorbitant triple-double. Like, I'm saying, like, 15 points, 10 rebounds, 10 assists a game. Shooting a decent percentage from the field. You don't have to shoot threes. I understand, you know, he can't he's not really good at that. In the off season he is for some reason, but in the game he's he's not really good at that. And not to be worried about getting fouled. Just being confident and just being dominant like he was. I would like for him to be at an all star level. If you add him with uh Bridges and Claxton and, and the Cam twins, the the, the Cam Square, I think all-star level Ben Simmons turns us into a different team. Like right now, I look at us and I think we could be anywhere from a playing team to a five or six seed, right? With all-star Ben Simmons, if he was able to like turn back the clock and get his confidence back and not have that mental block, I really I really think that we could be a top three or four team in the East. And have a very serious chance at winning because we, with him locked in like that, we would be almost unstoppable defensively. Like it would be very tough to score on this team with, you know, Cam Johnson, Mikel Bridges, um, uh, Ben Simmons at the four, and Nick Claxton. That is very much lockdown defense with Spencer Dinwiddie running the point. He's not an elite defender, but he's pretty good. Um, and then you got Cam Thomas coming off the bench with more points. You got Mikel Bridges. I think he's going to be a better scorer than he was last year. This year, you know, I just think we'd be in a very good position. But 
as as the title of the video says, I can't be fooled by that because we've seen this from Ben before, the knocking down shots in the off season, the getting more jacked in the off season and working really hard and stuff like that. He does all this his team posts all of this stuff and then we get to the season and it's the same shit. He can't play. Uh because, you know, he has anxiety or or a back injury or um or he, or he just can't play because he's just not contributing the way he should be contributing. He's getting in foul trouble, different stuff like that. I, I don't know if I talked about this, but I went to a Nets game earlier this year, and I watched him play, and he's just so, like, tentative with the ball in his hand. Like, he's a, he's still an elite passer. He's still a decent, very good defender, but, like, you could just see it in his face. Like he's just so like, like scared, like scared to score even close to the rim. Like he had like at least three or four opportunities that he missed, not because, you know, it was a bad shot or, or, you know, because of defense, it was just because he just looked afraid. And I understand, you know, how powerful mental blocks can be. But when I see these pictures and these videos of them, it's like, bro, you wasting space on your phone. <laughs> you waste the space on your phone because we can't, we can't buy into this again. Like I said, if he's able to get past that, oh, the league's in for some shit. Like if he if he got angry and was like, I'm tired of people talking shit about me. I'm tired of people acting like like I'm a bum and I'm a bust and all this shit. I'm about to destroy everybody. Oh my God, that would be wonderful. <laughs> that'd be wonderful. As a Nets fan, that'd be wonderful. But realistically speaking, I just don't think that's going to happen. Um, and same with Zion. I feel like it's going to be the same thing this year. He's going to come in. He's probably going to play a little bit. He's probably going to have some sort of injury. I hope he doesn't, but he's probably going to have some sort of injury, like midway quarter through the season and be out the rest of the season. He might come back for the playoffs. He might not. And that's just going to be his thing. I, he's he's kind of reminded me of Anthony Davis now because, like, it, and the crazy part is he's younger. That's the crazy part. Well, Anthony Davis is not old, but he's reminded me of Anthony Davis now. Like, he's, he, he's dominant when he plays, right? Like, you can't do nothing with Anthony Davis. He's just – it's just what it is. But – and especially on the defensive end, offensive end, it's not much you could do with him. But he's just out so much that it's like, well, what's the point? What do we do with him? <laughs> because he's injured. He's injured on a regular basis. What do we do? And with with the advancement of medicine and stuff like that, guys are able to come back and you know play the same. And I think that's great. But if a guy is out half the season or missing the playoffs or, you know, missing even a quarter of the season every year, that's just detrimental to the team after a while. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's my issue with Zion. And, again, I like to reiterate, I know you can't control injuries. Like J.J. Reddick got on Steve Stephen A. Smith about that. I understand that, right? I'm not a pro hooper. I've never been a pro. I've never even been close. I saw I, I I don't get it from that standpoint, but what I do know is um the attention and the care you should be given to your body as an athlete, right? Because you're getting paid. Like I'm I'm fat. <laughs> I'm overweight as fuck. Like I, I'm fat, I bar- I barely work out at all. Like I should change that obviously, but I'm not an athlete. I just got a nine to five and I do YouTube. Right. Nobody's paying me to go play basketball or play football or nothing like that. These guys are getting paid to do this job. You see what I'm saying? And if you're getting they're getting paid a lot of money, too. So if you're getting paid a lot of money to do a job, I feel like it behooves you (laughs) to do the best you can to take care of your body. And I feel like Zion isn't doing that. Um, He and I believe he's on Gilbert Arenas, podcast or something. and He kind of talked about that. And, like, his battle with food and stuff like that and off-the-court stuff. And, and again, I get that. Like, mental health is extremely important. But at some point, as an adult and as a professional, you got to be like, hey, 
I got to lock in. I got to get this done. Right. And I think with these guys and to not, not to like be poking a dead horse, but like with Ja and Anthony Davis and different guys like that, I think the security of having all this money that they have gives, it kind of takes away the hunger a little bit. So they don't have that click in their head that maybe the average Joe might have. They're more like, well, I well, I just got two hundred million dollars. I'm I'm chilling. Like even if they cut me, I still got two hundred million dollars coming. You see what I'm saying? Or even if I get traded, I still got two hundred million dollars, right? So they don't have that like, oh, I need to fix this. I need to get better. I need to take care of my body. They don't really have that. Um, I th- that's just an opinion of mine. I don't I don't know these guys or anything like that. That's just what I kind of noticed. I think what I think they're thinking but the bottom line is video i talked about a lot of stuff but the bottom line is video do not be fooled by zion or ben simmons or anybody else posting these you know great off-season videos and beautiful off-season pictures because it's bullshit until you show me otherwise that's how i feel about it until you show me that you're gonna take things seriously and and during the season, like working out in the off season is great, but what are you gonna do when the season starts? That's that's my thing, and I, and for the net sake and for my sake, I hope Ben Simmons comes out and dominates. But realist, but hope hope don't pay the bills. <laughs> Realistically, I I I don't believe in Ben right now, um, and with Zion. I'm predicting the same as the past, like, two or three years we've seen him. Dominating on the court. Uh, injury out for two, three months or majority of the season. And recycle, rinse, repeat. Um, I hope, and don't get me wrong, I hope none of this, I hope I'm wrong. I hope Ben dominates. I hope Zion plays a full season and the Pelicans are better because of it and they make a real serious run because I think they can with Zion healthy. They definitely can. Um, but I, like I said, I hope I'm wrong, but I'm not trying to be fooled. So. Uh, without further ado, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Was I a little too harsh? Do you agree with some of the stuff I was saying? Um, I got a lot of videos coming out in, within the next couple weeks. I've been, you know, trying to get ahead on videos. So I hope you guys are enjoying those. Let me, uh, comment down below anything you would like to hear my opinion on basketball wise. If you'd like to hear my opinion on other topics and stuff like that, head on over to the RMP podcast. We release videos three times a week and new episodes every Wednesday. Um, definitely check out the RMP podcast. The link in the description down below is the first link in the description. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe, make sure you ding that notification bell so you know every time I drop a video. And most of all, YouTube, I love you guys. Peace out. It's the three on Black TV. Oh, yeah, don't go for that.